How did it get to Nation Star? It didn't. Okay, now judicial estoppel, basically this is a doctrine that says the judge must discount your claims if you change your story on the record. So there's a lot of cases about this that say that, that you claim something and you're, you can't just keep changing your mind, switching it, and especially if the court relied on it and you won. Okay, so that last case um, has the elements that you have to prove. If you're going to say, like I'm saying, Nation Star is judicially stopped from making any claim that it was owed a debt from the Hanson Deed of Trust or that it had any standing to be in a quiet title action that was between me and Jimmy Jack. So they, I think you'll see by these... Um, documents that they pulled a fast one on the court. Okay, so the elements are that they had to knowingly make these two inconsistent um, statements and that the first time when they claimed it, like like when nations are claimed that they were owed this 389000 and they claimed they got it from somebody in uh, 2011 and then they claimed they got it in 2014 and, you know, they just kept switching it and rescinding it. So, and you'll see, they did it in the same documents, and so they, they knew what they were doing. Um, and they won. They managed to convince the court to let them, uh, Nation Star and Jimmy Jack, settle out of court, and that their own little side deal was sufficient without Nation Star having to produce any evidence or go to trial or diddly squat. They one. And then they just kept right on going, lying, 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 so that uh, they could get out of it before, um, before I ran out of money for attorney's fees, I guess. Okay, so judicial estoppel. This says a person intentionally makes statements that are accepted as true by a court that the court may bar that party from relying on later statements clearly inconsistent with the earlier position.